what possibly could conflict mastery, ash trees, and quiet quitting and firing have in common? Well, let me tell you a story. About 20 years ago, my daughter had a friend visiting, and he said to me, Mrs. Valensic, do you know that you have ash trees in your yard, and do you know they're under threat by the ash tree emerald borer? And of course, I had no idea about that. I didn't even know I had ash trees. <laughs> well, it would have been an easy thing to discount, and certainly he wasn't going to pester me about it, but it brought something small to my attention. And I am so grateful now because I actually paid attention and I took some action. And that first year, I, I learned that I had 12 really large ash trees on my property. And I had them treated, which was, which was kind of expensive. But then I learned how to do it myself. And so every other year, I come out and I, I drill holes in my ash trees and I plug them with some insecticide. The net is, is that I have some of the only ash trees in my area. The rest of them are dead. And it has saved me so much more trouble in the long run. And so what does that have to do with conflict mastery and quiet quitting, quiet firing? For one, is paying attention and taking action on those small things that would be easy to ignore. There's lots of examples of that. And quiet quitting, I don't think is so much about quiet quitting or quiet firing. I think it's about not paying attention, not getting quiet enough to notice when things are askew and taking action. So that is it. I'm Karen Valensic. Thank you for tuning in.